Right, so now we're doing a pressure test with the clear vinyl gasket and our setup is still the same with our regulator tubing going into the actual top of the tank the tank is sealed off and what we have is on the outside of that just an open tubing going to an actual blow off valve which, which is set up for this and uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to go up you can see first we'll check all along all of the gasket you can see that obviously with no pressure uh, I have star sand filling the gap between the lid and the tank itself on top of the tube so there's actually star sand there so if I go on this you can see that oh, there's, there's liquid there okay so come back up here I'm going to go to our regulator and I'm going to turn it on to it just barely starts to deliver gas Just starting to hiss. Not registering at all on the actual gauge itself as far as PSI. So very, very minimal. Come down here. And what we can see is that you know, already at a bare minimum, bare, bare minimum, already getting uh, leaking happening at the gasket at the seam. The rest of it is fine. You can see there's no leaks happening anywhere else, but definitely uh, back, back here at the seam. And then when I go to the blow-off valve, you can see that indeed we are getting a little bit of blow-off coming from that as well, which is great. But the bad news is, is that we're also getting leaking happening at the gasket itself. Ideally, what we would want to have happen is we want to have complete pressure, uh, no leaking from the gasket side of things, and pretty much any release happening coming from the blow-off valve itself. So with the vinyl gasket, unfortunately, it doesn't seem that this is really going to work out for us. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hook up. I have another floating lid with an actual white rubber gasket, which theoretically should make a much better seal. And we'll see if we can get the blow-off valve to go uh, when we put pressure to the tank uh, without having any of the leaking on the side of the gasket happening, as we are seeing with the clear vinyl. So now we have the second half of our test and we've replaced the clear vinyl gasket with the lid with the white rubber gasket and I have star sand floating in the trough on top of the gasket that's made between the lid and the tank itself. You can like this, I'll show you here. So you can see a little liquid there. So therefore when I pressurize it any leaks that come off the side will show some bubbles and we'll see if that's a problem at all. Uh, per the instructions of usage uh, from the actual white rubber gasket, the pump is pumped up all the way to the top, we can see, and it's sealed off. Uh, I have my gas like before, going from here, up here, pressurizing in for the top of the tank. On the output, I have connected uh, that same blow off. So basically we're going to turn on the pressure and we're going to see like hopefully we're only going to see blow off happening in the valve itself and uh, not coming out anywhere on the white gasket. Right, so just as before, I'm going to go up and hit this with the least amount of pressure just to show minimum. Just here, a little bit of even back off that so it's really quiet. We're not even showing anything registering on the pressure gauge of the regulator, right? So we'll come down here, take a look at the white rubber gasket. And we have no leaks showing, there's no bubbling anywhere. And we can see by our blow off that indeed. Indeed, we are getting blow off happening here. So great, I'm feeling a nice even 
push coming through. And again, just to reiterate, so we're getting a blow-off happening on the blow-off valve correctly. Enough pressure is able to be built in the tank so that that actually works. And we're getting nothing coming off on the side, so the white gasket is holding. So this indeed works really, really well.